Bearing the rising healthcare costs of our aging global population is one of the most urgent challenges society is facing. One way to deal with this is technological innovation in treatment techniques. The implementation process of new techniques often presents a huge challenge. Therefore, Jan van Schweik of Leiden University Medical Center and Dr. Marika Stevens of Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University, studied the implementation of new medical technologies as one way to increase the effectiveness of care. Healthcare is faced with rapid technological change. And while hospitals often find it easy to decide whether or not to adopt a new technology, implementing new technology is very difficult. In this project, I had the opportunity to study the implementation of a new technology for low volume, high complexity treatment, namely the endovascular reconstruction of aortas if side branches are implied. So what we did is we looked at how Leiden University Medical Center, the aorta team in charge of complex aortic disease, implemented this new approach. And instead of looking at outcomes that are traditionally used in healthcare, such as blood loss or days that a patient would spend in the hospital afterwards, we looked at the goals that the team set itself. And those goals were treating more patients, the doctors in the hospital simply wanted to be able to treat patients that they previously were not able to treat. Secondly, they wanted to involve patients more in their own care path. So not necessarily have the patient decide which approach would be best, but by explaining advantages and disadvantages of the two approaches. So what we did is we interviewed all 19 team members and asked them, what do you need to do your job? And not so much technological or educational points were mentioned, but the workings of the team came forward as the most important things for these people to execute their job. We combined these outcomes with patient data. And what we see is that this team progresses from a situation where they only do open reconstruction to being able to offer patients the choice between endovascular and open reconstruction, involving the patient in this decision by relational and cognitive embedding. And this consistent of open communication, uh, shared commitment to the outcome of the procedure, but also a lack of hierarchy within the team. The new technology posed several very big challenges to the team. And number one is that it cannot be prototyped. It has to be tested on the job. There is no simulator in which you can deploy such a stand and learn how to do it. Secondly, the team composition changed quite drastically. For a open reconstruction of complex aortic disease, a thoracic surgeon is involved because the thorax is also opened. And when you do the procedure endovascularly, an interventional radiologist instead of a thoracic surgeon is involved. What is also important if you think about team composition is the role of the supplier. In an open reconstruction, the supplier is hardly involved because stents are custom made to the patient in the operating room while the patient is on the table. Whereas for an endovascular treatment, the stent has to be designed beforehand to the exact measure of each individual patient. And within this design process, you see that the stent supplier takes a much bigger role and also an advisory role to the medical team. So that's why team composition, how a team learns for each individual procedure was such an important topic for this study. Mm -hmm.